guys welcome to my official youtube channel of analyze this this is my second video on youtube and i'm not good with editing so excuse me if i make any mistakes while making this video i have made this video in one single shot so i hope you understand that today i'm going to talk about creating dashboards using excel so in front of your screen you'll be able to see that this is the dashboard that i've created and i'm going to go step by step in order for you to also make it you do not need to know any complicated formulas or you do not need to figure it out how this can be done by difficult methods that other people are teaching you out there. I'm going to simplify as much as possible. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so this is the database that I've got. It has got six columns, date, store, different multiple stores, multiple sales wrap, multiple products, having quantity of the goods sold, the price of each and every item, and the total sales. Total sales is done by multiplying quantity by price. This is the total sales. Uh, and if you select this uh, first row and you hit Control Shift down arrow on your keyboard, it's going to select the whole data. The point of this is I'm going to show you why I'm doing this. When you select this, it's going to give you the name of this data as data set one. So when you're creating pivot table, instead of selecting this whole data manually, you can just select this name. So let's jump right into it and create some pivot tables. I'm going to name it pivot table. So in this pivot table, so I'm going to insert the first pivot table. Uh, I'm going to go here, insert and hit pivot table. And in the name range, I'm going to type in data set one and hit OK. When you press that, it's going to give you these options to select this pivot table from. I'm just going to expand it so that you guys can see it. The first option I'm going to use is date and I'm going to use total sales. And since these are the dates selected, so if you go to the group, you'll find it out that days and months are selected. So I'm just going to have only the months and hit OK. So the data is given in months, but the format doesn't look in a good accounting format. So I click one of uh, this pivot table, uh, one of the item right here right click here and go to value field settings when i click that this option will appear we are going to select the number format select the accounting as the number format and hit ok so this gives you a good information about the number of sales in different months so i'm going to go to analyze and hit pivot chart in the first pivot chart i'm going to select this first pivot chart that appears here and hit ok so this will appear what you need to do is either right click on it, cut it and come to this new uh, sheet and type in as dashboard. Uh, excuse my spelling right there. I'm typing with one hand. So I press this dashboard right here and I'm going to paste it. When you paste it right here, I do not need to see this sum of total sales and date. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this. Uh, in order to remove this, you need to go back to analyze and in field buttons, just click it one more time. This is gone. And also this looks so tiny and small. So you right click, go to format data series and the gap width shows 219%. Make sure you have uh, a specific uh, gap width for your columns. I'm going to use 50 and when you type in 50 hit enter you see how it changes and since this is going to be our dashboard I do not want to see these grid lines in the background so what I'm going to do now is I go to view uh, so first you select all this data right here you go to view and in view this grid lines are selected you unselect it and the grid line is gone so you have this nice beautiful uh, data visualization make sure you remove this total here and in the first one you're going to write total sales by month and give it border uh, uh, make sure it's bold so this is your first pivot table similarly you're going to create multiple pivot tables in the same way so I have created the first one the second one when I want to create it I come giving just one line space here so that you know they are all on the same page but they are just uh, distinct, uh, distinguished by uh, this uh, middle line space here 
So you go to insert and hit pivot table. And again, you type in data set one, hit OK. Uh, this pivot table will open up. And now you want to see the date, the product, and the total sales. So I do not select this right now. I select this as a filter here. OK, select it as a filter. And the same thing I'm going to do now is value field settings and number format. Go to accounting, change it to accounting. So this is change to accounting. I go to pivot chart. And the second one, I'm going to use a pie chart for the product. So this one doesn't look nice to me. I go to and I go and use 3D pie chart and hit OK. So the same thing you're going to do. You, you're going to cut it, come to the dashboard, and you paste it right here. So I'm going to do the same thing right here, the same previous steps that I've done. So I'm just going to select this, go to analyze and fill. I just took it off and I come inside right here, right click on it and select format data point. Uh, this is too big, let's, let's make it smaller. So uh, I made it smaller. Uh, in in right here, I do not want any fill, so I select no fill. Oh, sorry. Uh, this will be automatic, and I select the border as no blank right there. And uh, I want to give them labels, so I click on any of this label, any of this chart item right inside, and select add labels. So it's going to show me the option for adding the label. So I'm going to select this all, select right and add data labels. So when these data labels appear, you click on this data label and select format data labels. And the format is going to give you the option for changing, change it however you want, but I would put the name of the category right here. So the category is showing, I'll take off the value and put percentages in. So it's much clearer for me and, and on the top, I'm going to type in total sales by product. Total sales by product. I select all, control B, it's bold. Take it a little bit up on the top and get rid of this. So this looks pretty clean. So we are done with the second step now. Now I'm going to create another pivot table and this pivot table will be of the total sales by store. So I go to insert pivot table and select the same thing data set one, hit OK. Uh, you select date as a filter there and then you use store in the rows. Let me get rid of this format shape and let me just increase it so that you guys can see it. So I got the stores and now I need the total sales. Sum of total sale is done. And again, I'm going to select value field settings, number format, accounting, hit OK, OK. So you're going to get this. Again, I'm going to go to pure charts. And now instead of clustered column, let me select something else. Let me select the bar graph and clustered bar. bar. I select this. Again, I cut it, come back to dashboard. Somewhere down here, I paste it. Make sure it's aligned. On the same line just to give your dashboard a clear look so when is it is aligned there do the same thing go to analyze field buttons take off the field buttons um, my apologies I selected the wrong uh, uh, visualization I wanted to select this so I select this come back to dashboard and paste it there. So let me show you one more time. So you select this total sales and then you go to uh, analyze your chart and you select bar, select this uh, clustered bar there, hit okay. You're going to get this cluster bar, cut it, come to dashboard right here and paste it. So this is pasted, you go to analyze, remove field settings uh, this is selected now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this total here sorry 
the total is removed make sure it's aligned correctly and now uh, in order to give a better look like I don't want to have this color I'm going to change the color of it so I am going to design and in design I'm going to sell, select change colors and instead of blue I'm going to select these colors see how it's changed and now again format data series uh, the gap width we have been using the gap width of 50 so I'm going to use the same thing and hit enter so this looks pretty much clean now for all the different stores so this is done there is uh, one more thing I want to do is the border I don't want these borders uh, so I select no line that's it you're good here so your third uh, visualization is created now go back to the pivot table and now I'm going to work on uh, one of the complicated pivot chart so I go to insert again pivot table I select data set one hit OK and now I'm going to select total sales first of all bring the date filter and total sales by salesperson so total sales will always come here uh, total salesperson will come here uh, and I'm going to select store so you see that wrap store a which wrap has made the sale so same option here I'm going to select value field settings number format accounting hit OK so this is all changed and I'm going to ask pivot chart to give me a recommendation of what charts can I create based on this. So I go to insert recommended charts and I can select a stack column chart. Just select this stack column chart and hit OK. So you got a stack column chart. Make sure you don't do the same mistake that I did last time. Uh, cut it, come to the dashboards, come somewhere here in the bottom and paste it. So just take a look at this. So we're going to do the same thing. Uh, coming to analyze, remove that. And one more thing we're going to do right here is go to uh, design, add chart elements, and access. Uh, we're going to use the legend, and we're going to use the legend in the bottom right here. And here we're going to use format data series uh, because the, the 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 width is not according to our standard that we have used. So make sure the standard is the same. 50. Hit enter, and and you see how it's changed. And we are also going to add the title. So chart title. I'm going to type type it above, and type in total sale by store for sales wrap select all control V and there we go so now all over uh, dashboard charts are done you can create more chart based on the pivot tables that you want but I would for the simplification purpose I'm going to create only four of these visualization so now most of the job is done. Now we are going to insert uh, the slicers so that we can manipulate the data and get some answers. So what you can do now is you can go to insert and hit slicer right there. So now in order to add the slicer, you have to click on one of uh, these uh, charts and then go to slicer. And what I'm going to bring now is stores, salesperson, product and the date and click OK. All these four, four slices appear here. So the first one I'm going to select as store, but this doesn't look nice here. So I'm going to take it all the way up. And when I select this, you will see options in columns. You'll see one column. You can create two columns or three columns based on what kind of uh, slicers you want to create. So let me create this slicers. It, it looks pretty neat and clean now as for the store and now the same thing I'm going to do for the salesperson I'm going to take it up and give it three columns so this is salesperson and the product same way 
going to take it up, make three columns, give it a clean and neat look. And the final thing, the date, this date down here. So this is the option that I'm going to select right there. So I was facing this problem of the date. It was not showing me month wise. So what I did was I went back to pivot table and this was grouped uh, like this days and months. So instead of that, I change it. I select groups and instead of days, I just selected month and hit OK. And when it converted into months, I come back to dashboard, select uh, any of, of this and then go to insert and hit slicer and select date. When you select that now, it's going to show you in months instead of the dates. So you can select this right here up until December. So you have created all the slicers. Now you want to make sure that all the slicers are interconnected with each other so that when you select any of the options, it's it gets uh, filtered on all the visualization. In order to do that, this is the most important step in this whole data visualization. You go right here, right click on it, and click on report connections. And you have to click on all these connections all at once. Hit OK. Do the same thing for all the other slicers, report connections. Select all and hit OK. To go one by one and do it. And the last one. Okay. Now, let's say that we have to work we have to see all the efforts if it's going to work or not. So I'm going to select store A. The moment I select store A, it shows me the data for the sales per month. Store A is showing the data of the sales. In May, it has the highest sale. In October, it has the highest sale. Sales by product. Product C is showing the maximum sales of 15,000. And then sales by store, store A. This is the total sales, it's showing 40,000 and sales by sales wrap. So wrap E is ma making maximum sales. So what you can do is you can select store A and select maximum is by E. So I'm going to select wrap E. Uh, you have to hold control on your keyboard and select wrap E. See how it changed? Everything's changed. And then you can also select one of the product categories, let's say we're going to select product C. So this is what I selected and I select different months. See the data gets changed when you select different months. So this shows that your your uh, slicers are working and they're connected with all the visualizations and your visualization is connected with the pivot tables and your pivot table is connected with the database. I hope you guys can use it for your job and create some meaningful dashboards. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.